backyard and clean up. And see that one that's like coming across this tomato, like in the bed? Yeah. What you think? That's good? Maybe that little one. Mm-hmm. How about that one too? No, yeah. The one that's like going yeah, over the comfrey? Oh, you yeah, think that's right. enough? Watch out, babe. It's a wasp. Oh, he's holding. Yeah, what do you think? Is that too much? It's like one, but like fanned out little ones from that one. Put that down, mommy. School back. They probably gone since Daddy cut, but school back and make sure because they like that. Okay, I was thinking like it would be like a little fan, like it's the big one and then the, only the side shoots. Okay. So yeah, cut this one. That's sticking out. School back, Mama. Let's see, it's a wasp on top of that. Be careful, babe. Oh. Two of them flew out. That's it. Thank you. Thank you, Daddy. Y'all all right now? Thank you. Huh? Leave this one. Oh, I didn't even see that little one. Fertilizer. And cuttings. So fall is normally a slower time for me in the garden. A time to really make sure that I harvest as much as I can before things go dormant before before they die out. I'm either harvesting and freezing or dehydrating or canning something. So uh, right now we're doing longevity spinach, but also in the fall is a great time for cleanup, first of all, in the garden. There's lots of things to clean up. You're either pulling out dead plants or um, pruning things. Um, it's also a really great time to reflect what went well, what did not go well. What am I going to plant here next year? What did well in this area? And what am I going to change? So there's not as much sunlight. There's not as much heat. It's definitely a slower time. Uh, the weather is a little bit gloomier. But the garden is still green. The garden is still feeding us. It's a time to sit in gratitude for all that the garden has provided. Along with Mother Earth and Father God. Um, it's a good slower time for me in the garden. So I just wanted to share that with you guys.
normally when I harvest my longevity and my Okinawa spinach, I go ahead and try to hit every plant <laughs> and get my basket nice and full. And sometimes I will just cook these up and put them in the freezer so that um, when I make plantains or we pick them up from the African store, I just toss my spinach and plantains in the oven for a quick lunch. I also love, love making salad with this longevity spinach and the Okinawa spinach. So I'll put a few in gallon bags in the fridge as well. And look at what a beautiful harvest I have. Feeling blessed. I also got some Cuban oregano. This has grown so amazingly in my garden this year and I'm super duper excited about it. I got a bunch so I'm going to go ahead and wash this all up and I am going to um, put it in the dehydrator and I will have it in my pantry for tea throughout the winter. Peace family, I hope you guys are happy and healthy and doing well. Um, I'm gonna show you guys something real quick. We don't have a lot of daylight. That's the only thing I don't like about the fall is I don't have a lot of daylight to work and have like other stuff to do in the house. But anyway, I'm planting garlic, so let me show you. So this is one of the plant starts that I got from HEB. It is a broccoli. As you can see, it's in a big old container. There's lots of food scraps and stuff in here that I needed to get rid of, but I thought uh, this would also be a great, nice and fluffy pot to plant my garlic in. So how many I have? Six here. So you guys are gonna plant it with me together. Try to go down as far as I can. I'll stick like my middle finger. <laughs> in here to make like way for the garlic this is just some garlic that i cook with i do want to order some um this other kind of garlic it's like a purple soft neck garlic but i haven't ordered that yet so and I still have time. It's not like we get like frozen, really frozen here. So I'm just going to plant this little bottom down all the way down in there in each one. And I tried to just pick some pretty plump pieces. I do like to leave the paper on there. I feel like it kind of protects it because it has to like feel the cold and then go through the cold it'll might start growing but if it does it'll uh, die back did i miss one i think i didn't put one in here did i put one in here yes i did so i didn't make enough holes i'm crazy talking too much um i forgot what i was saying y'all i'm sorry is it blurry no Maybe I'll put this one over here. Sorry about that, guys. So, if you want to eat... Not there. If you want to eat next year, there's some things that you're going to have to do this year. Some things you're going to have to plant. Nutrients you're going to have to add. Even if you're not planting through the fall. That means um, put your beds to sleep. Kind of, so to speak. You can put uh, mulch. Or you can put leaves. You know what I'm saying. Put stuff over there. To cover your beds up so they don't dry out. Because just because you're not growing in them. Doesn't mean there are not things, you know, microorganisms and stuff still living in there. And you don't want those things to dry out because you need them when you're going to put your plants in there. So, um, 
If you want to see like a start to finish garlic planting, I will put my video from last year when I planted garlic uh, below. So that way you can see like me. But I basically just try to make some fluffy soil. Um, I try to plant it before it gets too cold because the garlic actually needs to go through the cold and then it'll grow and then you pick it next year. So um, also right now I'm going to be planting strawberry seeds. There are a few different seeds that need to be cold stratified, which is basically um, like kind of faking winter, if that makes sense, because I live in the South. It doesn't get uh, cold enough or long enough for some of the things that I would like to grow. So I put that stuff in the refrigerator for a couple months or for a month, depending on the seed, so that it thinks that it had a cold winter, and then I can plant it out in the spring, in my spring. So. I said all that to say, let me know what you guys are planting in the fall. Or how are you preparing your garden? Are you still planting new food in the fall? Are you planting seeds? Are you putting your garden to rest? Let me know what's going on in your garden and I will see you soon. Peace. Yeah, I was just planting my ginger and I was like, girl, you got to record. So last year I planted my ginger differently. I made sure that the ginger had roots first and I will tag that video below if you want to go back and watch that. I had it in the kitchen um, and that was pretty cool. That was fun. But my turmeric made me feel like I could just stick this ginger in here and I'll have ginger next year. So I'm going to try that. I did pick pieces that have like little nubs already on them. So here we go. I heard that ginger likes to grow horizontally so that it can grow in a pretty shallow space. So this is what I'm going to plant it in. I've got one, two, three, four. Oh, sorry. One, two, three, four. I won't make this one five. I'm just putting them down in there a little bit. I'm going to cover them up and go sit them and water them and see how they do. Um, I will show you that I do already have some ginger planted. So this is also ginger. Um, this is like all new growth that will probably die back. But I put the ginger in this because as long as the rhizomes or the roots don't freeze, this will come back next year. So I have ginger in here. Now I have ginger here. I actually have turmeric in here with those um, green onions. These back ones, this one and this one that's the turmeric that i pulled out when i made the fire cider and then i have ginger over here in my area with the turmeric so i'm definitely trying to put it in multiple places this again is new growth <laughs> That will probably die back in the cold. And I need to mulch those other ones. But you can see I have like some leaves here just to keep it kind of warm. And you can see the turmeric is now starting to feel what I did to it. But I'm going to just be slowly cutting these leaves off and leaving these little stems in there. And these leaves will be composted. And everything here is going to die back it'll be looking bare I think probably around January I feel like that's really when it gets cold like January February is when it's cold out here that's just my thoughts about it but now I gotta get this pepper out you see Teddy been trampling my stuff so I'm gonna go ahead and get this pepper out because if he killed it I'll be mad um so I'm just trying to share with you guys quickly. I don't have a lot of <laughs> sunlight. So, and I also broke my tripod. That was my bad. So it's hard for me to try to stop and set up and record everything that I'm doing. But I hope that I am sharing enough with you to know the different things that you could be doing in the fall that you could be planting, um, trees that you could be moving, uh, just so you know, there are things that you're going to have to do this year if you want to eat certain stuff next year. So that is basically the point of all of this. Thanks for watching.
family. You would think it was dang on 10 o'clock, dark as it is out here. Me and Mimi's out here burning the 6 o'clock oil. Because <laughs> it's only 6 o'clock. But it's dark. Hello. There's Mimi. So, we just did a few, few things that you probably can't even see. Let's see. We'll go and see. All right, here we go. So, my comfrey right here was making babies. I don't know if y'all be able to see. There's another baby right here. It's beat up right there that I didn't pull out yet. And there's another one coming out right here. You can see the leaves there. And it's coming out there. So, I dug two of those up. They were coming, like, out right here. Put them in pots and Mia helped me water them in. So this is them, this one and this one. Definitely want to give one of these to my uncle who has a guava. And I want to put one of these at mommy's house next to the peach over there. Yeah. I'm grown, baby. Okay. And then the borage. Huh? I'm making the video. I had a big borage over here last year. Some of you may remember. Well, borage makes a lot of its own babies. So as you can see, there's borage here. There's little ones down in there. So I just pulled the biggest one out right here. Um, so I'm gonna try to carefully pull some of them out and put them in different places. That way I won't have to start all the way from seed for borage. Borage can just make more borage. So I'll show you guys this one. This is the one that I just pulled out. Looks nice and healthy. Oh, nice. I pulled a couple of leaves off. There's some compost and stuff in that soil and it's nice and moist. So hopefully these will do well and be able to spread through my garden and mommy's garden and any other gardens that will have something from us that's a homegrown sign yeah okay say peace first peace peace mimi wants you to see her homegrown sign <laughs> thanks for watching